Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about my work at home desk setup and how it's set up and why it's set up the way it's set up. Also, don't mind my hair, y'all. I just washed it last night and I have to stretch it for the next hairstyle that I'm gonna do today. So don't worry about that look. First off, I want to talk about why my desk is facing the way that it faces. So I know that a lot of people face their desk towards the wall and they can like hang stuff on the wall and everything. However, I have my desk face this way for two reasons really. One, it just seems more private to me. It's, it feels like a little cubicle area, the, the way it's um, enclosed on three sides instead of just the two. So it feels like a cubicle to me and I really like that feeling. It kind of takes me out of my home and makes me feel like I'm at work. I know it looks a little cluttered that way because you can see all the cords and everything being exposed, but that doesn't matter to me when my friends are here they're not worried about courts we're having fun and enjoying each other's company thing i have to leave the core i have to leave the core slack so that there's room for me to lift the desk and put it down because if they're all tight and con bunched up Combunched is not a word, but that is okay. They're all tight and bunched up next to the computer, then I won't be able to lift and lower the desk, which is very important because I usually stand during the day. I stand for most of the day. I think I'll sit for like the first part of the morning from 9 to 10.30, which is when my first break is because I'm usually really tired. So I'll just sit over here with my covers and then after my break, I come back and I'll raise the desk and I'll stand until lunch, which is at 2.30. So from 10.45, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 12. So from 10.45 to 2.30, I'm standing. And I'm standing, I don't get off work till six o'clock, so I spend the last couple hours in a mixture of standing. And I was just straight sitting at first, when I first started, and I realized that one, that makes me extremely tired, but two, it is extremely uncomfortable to sit all day. I will say that this amazing chair that I got as a gift has made it much more comfortable for me to sit for longer periods of time. The other chair I had gave me so many back problems. My desk, so when I'm sitting, it's super comfortable to sit. And when I'm standing, it's super comfortable to stand. And I have really gotten into a rhythm with working from home and i will say that i actually really really okay guys so we are going to break down my actual uh workstation so first off we are going to talk about the actual desk i have my two monitors sitting on this little raised platform i keep my earpieces hanging over the computer and my chapstick next to the computer my lips get really dry talking all day, guys, trust me. So I have a little cubby down here that I keep my pens in and uh, my sticky notes. And I have some markers from my uh, whiteboard over there. I have my coffee mug warmer. I always have coffee and a coaster for my water. My little calendar, guys, I really do be forgetting the days of the week sometimes. Under here, I have a little step stool that I'm using as a footstool right now. I'm pretty short, so I can't reach the top of the cabinets, and that's why I have those. I got my little whiteboard here, and I write my goals on there, as well as information about people that I need to get back with. I don't have anything on there right now for um, security reasons. But over here, this is the chair that I showed you guys earlier. It is covered with blankets, and this is actually a heated blanket right here because I sit by the window and it does get cold there. It is still pretty cold outside where I am at the moment. Um, I'm going to actually try to take these covers off so that you can see the actual chair that I have. I do have this gray chair here and I usually sit it next to my desk. That's where the cats sleep all morning while I'm at work. They have to be by me. They used to be on my lap and my desk until I got that chair and I start putting it over there. I'm gonna take these covers off of here so you guys can get a good look at the chair. Captain Hook, haha. <laughs> I have all those blankets and this little thing right here because the cats love to scratch the chair. It's like their favorite material to sink their little claws into. And so I have to protect it. Also, all the blankets just make it warmer and com more comfortable to sit in anyway, so that's cool. 
this seat is so comfortable guys like i don't think you guys understand and this little lumbar pillow is great for my back so i'm gonna give you guys a little side view so you can see the thing all the way well that is my work at home setup and i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to like subscribe and share see you guys in another video